Hello everyone and welcome back. All right, first off, a huge congratulations goes out to the skull picker who only two weeks ago was looking to reach 100 subscribers so he could have his very first giveaway to show his appreciation to this awesome uh, lock sport community. And uh, yeah, today, two weeks later, he's almost at 200 subscribers. That's awesome, brother. Congratulations to you. And uh, today is actually the last day's day guys if you want to get in on his giveaway and the way he's doing it i think it's pretty awesome you don't have to have a, a youtube channel just take some pictures of your area your you know picking locks in or your little um lock sport area whatever you got going on you don't have to have a, a youtube channel i just want to make sure you're into lock sport which i think is pretty awesome so you know somebody not just coming for a freebie you know and uh yeah for obvious reasons, I won't be entering in uh, the giveaway, but I'm still going to support his channel. I'm going to show you around the Lock Lab a little more than I have before. I know I've, I've you know, shown it a couple times, but uh, we'll go into a little more detail, I guess. And, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty awesome. Congratulations, brother. And uh, like I said, guys, today's last day. So get your pictures in, get a little video up, whatever you got to do. But, uh, all right, let's get started. You're probably wondering why these two locks are sitting here on my desk. Well, just to share with you, um, these were actually the only two locks I owned before I got into lock sport about three and a half years ago. Just cheap, all-weather Chinese 50 millimeter that was locking up my canoe. And this uh, sesame was uh, locking up my shed. And that's the only two locks I owned before I got into lock sport. So with that said, let's see where we are today um all right well this area you guys seen this all the time this is where i pick and do my videos um desk is pretty messy a bunch of tools here a couple more um pick sets over here sober um tools uh multi-lock picks the honest dong uh dimple picks this is a sulfur that i printed some handles for on this side here well of course, everybody sees these pretty much all over the lock sport. These are the Panavice with the 350 head. I also have down here um, the 303. But, oh, under here is where, oh, and I'll show you those two. Those are pretty cool. Those are something I just started this weekend. But this is where all my pinning trays are. Let me actually move this out of the way. My pinning trays, and I got a couple of pretty awesome ones here. This one here, my buddy Bill McCarty made for me and this things i have done videos with this but it takes up almost my whole desk this is like a work of art i'm gonna probably hang that up here somewhere this one here was one of my first ones that i got from my buddy steel pinnings this thing's like i think it's from three different types of bamboo it's hard as a rock but he's got some pretty cool designs just in the uh the lacquer and pretty cool um yeah so that's where my pinning trays stay these here are actually pretty cool too. These I just started. These are like a little novelty keychain type. So just started that this weekend. I thought that would be pretty cool to make some personalized one. You know who that one's for. But uh, yeah, that's my desk that I pick at. Um, go over to the lock. Oh, oh, here. First we'll go over here so I don't forget. Just a couple of things over here, like when I'm making um, challenge locks, I got my visor. If I'm trying to uh, impression locks, I have a couple of loops here with some lights and stuff. But not have been successful with that yet. Um, just one of those lathe type deals. I got it kind of just as a backup for my um, Dremel. Never used it, but I made a um, standoff here that. Uh, Big Al LaBelle designed and he put it together with his and he made a pretty good cool jig for making um, pin and pins uh, just a spinner here down here some tools that I have for making uh, picks and stuff down here I'm um, just my regular tools there's a little soldering station there for my printers down here we got some Basically down here is where I keep um, my lever lock picks that I got from uh, Andy Mack, who's just awesome at what he does for making these tools. Um, this was a set I won from him, but he's made me a couple other sets here. 
sent me a, um, a lock with a see-through to practice with. Um, this here is just a, one of those go-so automatic pick gun type of deal. More lever lock picks. That's what's in that drawer. Let's go over to some, some locks here. Alright, on this one here, just a bunch of kind of miscellaneous. I try to keep them in groups. This one here, this little group here is just um, reality lock boxes, a couple super C's. This one here is kind of like a tubular. Oop, my finger's in the way there. You see inside there. This one here is more like a slider, and steel pinning's actually impression this key for that one. Did a great job, it works awesome. These are my WBs, um, a couple of them without keys. Like I said, I've not been successful with impressioning them so some of those after the holidays would be going to my buddy Josh who um, Jeff Moss uses all the time he's impressioned a couple of my um, push locks over there which I'll show you he was awesome at it um, here we got some Corbins again a couple without keys over here some miscellaneous locks this is a US pack lock all brass uh, first watch Hugo Ram, no key on that one. There's a few locks there down here. These are my master locks. Nothing real special about them. Um, but I do like these older ones. Um, 44 to a, oops, I believe a 66. I'm just going to leave those laying down now. A um, couple of ace locks, a couple of clubs here. Um, that's an all brass. I got a couple of these I got from my buddy Bill Bacardi. Just a couple of miscellaneous locks back here. Acai Alloy Fab. But down here. Um, a couple of disc detainer locks with a couple of prototypes that were um, designed by Boris from the Tiny Lock Lab. Uh, some Yales. Just some vintage Yales and stuff like that. Over here we got my Slaymakers. Went to those down here. Just a large pin kit. Um... 3D printed oops, cutaway, sort of, that I was trying to put together there. And I don't do many Lotto Lock Tuesdays. Those are the three that I do have. Um, over here are my collection of Mindy Locks. I believe I have about 17 of these. I have a couple of sets. Like This is a set from the 40 to the 60. Um, this was almost a set, but this is another 60 but it's not a close it's not a close shackle I need a 50 like this 60 here but those are my Mindy's I have all the keys hanging up on my keyboard for those all right let's go over here got a shot back oh, let me show you this real quick too this is a key chime that my wife made for the lock lab and this is actually made from all my subscribers I had them send a key in and um, I used all keys from all my subscribers. I have a booklet somewhere with everybody's name in it. And this awesome key ball that was sent all the way from Australia from Paul Springett. And this just made the whole thing. And this thing, it sounds awesome. I think keys have a wicked sound. Um, okay, over here. Well, these are my custom picks that were from uh, custom pick makers. Washington State Picker missing a couple letters and his pick is right there. It fell off. I gotta fix that. Alright, over here is more or less finished locks down the whole line here. These are the uh, push locks. And like I said, my buddy Josh, awesome at impressioning. He impressioned a bunch of these for me. Um, I think this is a Scandinavian. It's an old lock. I think I'm gonna try to get this key here. To work in that lock. I'm not sure how well that'll work. A um, bunch of miscellaneous, no keys, not worth too much, just a bunch of uh, old locks down here. These Most of these do have keys. Again, more vintage locks. Down here again, more vintage locks. I, I like this one. I mean, they don't make this kind of stuff anymore. Check out that handle. And this has a security, but what a Yale key. That's pretty awesome. Um, a wiser here. I think that's a wiser. Or a wise lock. Wise lock. A um, couple just 
Miscellaneous locks, again down there. Miscellaneous locks. This one here is my minis. Um, got a cool little mini viral here. And a couple of big shutter locks. This one here actually came my very first package from Bosnia and Bill. I think it's from Australia. But it's a huge shutter lock, which is a dimple lock. Here's another one pretty much just like it. I got that one, I think, from eBay or something. But those are pretty much my minis. Down here, I don't have many Lockwoods, but these are what I do have. I have a couple of, um, I think these are 45s. Yeah. That's a chrome one, and this is a brass body one. Um, a couple of Lockwood ovals. Um, a couple of Lockwoods that... Uh, came from Paul Springett, oh, sorry, came from Paul Springett that you actually have to put together. It came one that is uh, put together, little uh, wafer locks. Down here are some of my higher security locks. Um, these are Cabo Quattro's. And they're all keyed the same, all three of these cylinders. This one's two-sided, but I only have the two keys. Got a medical as uh, abloy back there. Union plague kryptonite. This one here is a Tokos. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's a pro and this is a another high security lock. And uh as abloy back here. Down here are um, basically my eagles and I have a few um, that are tricircles. This is one of the biggest locks in my collection, but one of the less security locks because too easy to pick. Um, like I said, these are my Eagles, couple US ones. Down here, just miscellaneous um, SFICs and stuff like that. Just miscellaneous locks down there. Up here, I got a couple of pretty cool locks. This one here came from Bill Hudson who I believe was in or is in charge of uh, maintenance at a correctional facility and he sent me this awesome lock that came right off a jail cell on the size of a key but that's a very heavy duty lock oh, sorry about that I don't know what's going on in the camera I'm not sure if you've seen that but I uh, got a couple of vintage uh, new old stock bike locks with um, directions and stuff like that you can see how that locks onto your tire that one there and this one here actually goes into your spokes it goes on your front forks and that's supposed to go in your spokes um, down here like I said I don't have too much for uh, lever locks but these are the few I do have and a few more down here and that's pretty much it over in this corner over here we got a few Abus locks. I don't have that many. I do have, um, I'm trying to hold my phone here and steady it out. <laughs> Looks like it's moving on its own. But, um, a few titaniums, a couple of rocks. This one here is zero bitted. This one here is keyed up. Um, this one here is also zero bitted. Um, not too much for Abus locks. This one here has a best I oh no slag in it with a control key down here just my mailing section of course my laptop here for designing and stuff like that whatever I gotta do there um, plus of course I upload this video and other videos um, these drawers just a few locks in there um, some of my tools for making challenge locks some pinning kits and my um, files and such just some mailing forms for uh, um, shipping custom forms down there is just all my filament my machines which you've seen before I'll just give you a quick peek at them in a minute here but let's check out my main pride and joy of my whole lock collection which are my Americans here 
Let me just go over a few. We got a bunch of um, 10 series back here. We got a H15, which is a tubular. Um, of course, these aren't Americans, but these are a couple of the... Uh, everybody's getting these now um, with their logos on it from Packlock. I think that's awesome. This one here was given to me a couple years ago by um, Packlock. Um, let me see, show you a couple of the cooler ones. This one here has a multi lock interactive. Um, over in this section is basically all the US editions, a couple US barrel locks here in the front. Long shackle, short shackle. Um, got a couple of puck locks here. This one here is the 2500, which is a lot bigger than the 2000. If you can see that different side, you know, thickness, anyways, and, and weight wise. <clears throat> and uh, before we leave this table, I have to show you these. Now, everybody knows Trek Master 30. Um, if you've been in this community long enough and he just recently stopped doing videos to, uh, well, take on another hobby, which is knife making. And this one here, I took out of my wife's office just so I could show you if I could get it out of the sheath here without killing myself. I heard a pink and black handle, and he makes the sheath. This is a left-sided, left-handed sheath. Put that over here for a second, and I'll show you mine. Mine has a black and red handle. Again, he makes these sheaths hand-stitched. Let me pull this one out without killing myself. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera here. And look at the size of that puppy. That was one big knife and extremely sharp. So, anyways, let's uh, just move on a little quicker here because this video is getting long. Over here, of course, just where I'm making my keys, a couple of key cutters. This is the first one I got with the uh, Foley Bell Saw um, 200. And it works pretty awesome, but it does bog down a little bit. It's a little loud, little motor. This one here, of course, a much bigger motor. This is the Elko, um, I think, a 025. And of course, the keyboard. These are just vintage uh, car locks and stuff, ignitions, but nice and colorful. Thought it looked cool. Up there, the ones I basically use this legs, quick sets, Yales, a couple of Everests. And over here, I got a bunch of pre cuts to make challenge locks with. These are all the keys for the Mindy locks that are over there. I got a bunch of spacer depth keys down here um, of course we got to have a uh, um, grinder for making picks with um, a drill press just for other miscellaneous things um, oh, in this drawer down here let me show you this though real quick oh, oh uh, uh, it's just a messy drawer a bunch of crap this here was given to me from a friend at work that somebody um, was taking a course and I guess they decided to stop but it's got a couple cool books in it. Locks and locksmithing. It's got an Ilko key directory and then a bunch of the packets here for lock um, locksmithing. So that pretty cool that he gave me that. And um oh, let me show you a couple of these because I never showed you these locks over here. Because these are where my Euros are. And I got some in here that are pretty serious. That has some crazy keyways. Like, not sure about that one. I know that's bad, but let me see. This might be the one. Sorry, guys. Yeah, got some pretty crazy keyways in here. But, yeah, just got a few of those. Got a couple packets here. Stuff for making challenge locks and just other parts. And so, oh, these are a bunch of cores for the H10 Americans. Replacement cores in here. A couple of regular American replacements. Um, 
few other things. Got another box here. There's a couple of cylinders there too. Um, yeah, just for making challenge locks. I think these are yeah, sergeants. Blank keys. And this one here. Again, just more junk. These ones I was using for practice for when I was threading back in the day and doing some undercutting and stuff like that. But yeah, have those. That drawer is just a bunch of challenge locks in there. Um, over here in this drawer here, and as many <laughs> pinning trays as I have, uh, this is, I gotta be careful here because this is stuff I use for making challenge locks. I still have my very first pinning trays I made myself. And glued the ends on there to keep the pins in there and stuff. I still have both of them and I use them. And this drawer over here, not much going on. Um, got an HUK disassembly kit, calipers, and address books and stuff like that in here. I think that's pretty much about it. I got some parts for my printers. But yeah, I know you've seen them before. I'll just show you again real quick, the printers. Got the little mini here, got the larger TiVo tornado there. Couple of the uh, Net 88 that I um, modified, of course. Lights and all kinds of stuff like that. I think I've already showed that. I got this one here working. That is my uh, CR10 mini. And of course, this is like my workhorse. <laughs> this is my um, Ender 3. Use that one a lot. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the Lock Lab. And again, congratulations to you, brother. You are going places. Here, let me put this back real quick so we can sign off. And um, yeah. Yeah, real quick. All right, guys. Yeah. Hey, last day. Get your pictures in. Um, and uh, yeah, he's going to close it down tonight, I believe, at some point. So, with that said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. That does help. Um, and yeah, everyone, please be safe and stay legal. Oh, by the way, everybody have a happy Thanksgiving. See you guys. Bye.